Hello, I'm Tony Robertson and you are watching Tony's Social Media Review for September. So welcome to new viewers and to regular viewers. This is a bit of an overview of my social media activity during September. I work across a number of social media platforms and have a fairly broad audience, but also I'm aware that there is an audience that doesn't have access to various social media platforms that I use. And so this is a way of sharing some of the resources and activities I've been involved in. I hope you find it worthwhile and interesting, and I hope some of the material is of use to you. So welcome aboard. Let's begin the journey and have a review of September. As is my custom, I like to begin my productions by acknowledging that I live and work on traditional land of First Nations peoples here in Mianjin, Brisbane. I'm on the land of the Yagara and Turul people. I pay respects to the elders, past, present and emerging. And I'm also grateful for the incredible opportunities I've had to work alongside and learn from so many First Nations peoples. My social media world is a fairly eclectic world and I'd like to introduce you to some of the people who are part of that network. This young fellow here is Kalu. Kalu is a young African studying to be a Catholic priest and Kalu checks in with me quite regularly. We have a chat. Uh, most evenings and my mornings as our days are beginning and ending and we're, we regularly keep in touch with each other. This is Josephine. Josephine is a transgender Anglican priest here in Brisbane. We've known each other for a number of years across theological groups and groups supporting LGBTIQ activity and campaigns. And so we're in touch both virtually and face-to-face. -face. This, of course, as many would recognize, is Angus Young. Angus is not a friend. However, this is the profile used by one of my younger brothers. We have Facebook profiles, but don't have a lot in common. So my brothers belong to a group that probably look at a lot of my stuff, but there isn't a lot of um, common interest. And that happens with social media as well. This is Daniel. Daniel is a dancer with First Nations people here in Brisbane. I photograph Daniel and the people he dances with regularly and we keep in touch through cultural political activities. This is Nora. Nora is a Muslim academic here in Brisbane and we have worked together on a couple of projects and keep in touch quite often. And this is Barbara, and Barbara is a Sydney photographer, a First Nations elder. Barbara and I met at a NADOC event some years ago, and we've been in touch ever since, occasionally conversing across Facebook posts that are of interest. This is just a sample of the um, population and people that I meet and encounter through social media and are also part of the community of interest that and drive and passions that drive me. So let's have a quick look at what I did in September. Some of the campaigns I supported through September include the creation uh, campaign, Season of Creation, which runs from September 1st to October 4th. And this is a program of activities, resources, etc. It's an interfaith activity, uh, began as an ecumenical activity, and it now is a campaign that uh, raises awareness of our responsibility to creation and initiatives to show respect for creation and for the conservation of the integrity of our ecology. I've been involved for a, a number of years in the Palestinian justice movement. So through September, there was a World Week 
for peace in Palestine and Israel, which included a Zoom prayer event in which I participated. The COVID pandemic, of course, has thrown up political and social upheaval. And here in Queensland, we had a campaign to support our chief health officer. And I certainly joined that campaign, keen to promote safe and healthy restrictions and activities throughout COVID. I also took part in a ecumenical online prayer vigil for Aboriginal deaths in custody, which remains a political hot potato for all parties and also for our culture and community. Many of the recommendations of the Royal Commission still need to be addressed, and this is an urgent issue. In Queensland, we're facing a state election on October 31st. The Queensland Community Alliance, with which I hold membership, has a maroon print, which is an outline of a number of activities and campaign directives which have been given to both major political uh, leaders as part of our com campaign for a more just political system here in the state beyond October 31st. My social media activity involves a lot of research and means I come across uh, reading and uh, clips that are worth sharing that I really find uh, intriguing, interesting and stimulating. And so I'm happy to share them with my readership and here again as well. For people that may not be part of my regular social media readership, here's an opportunity to um, share some of the resources that I've found useful. All these links are available on the PowerPoint, which is um, accessible through my blog, and I'll explain that at the end of this presentation. So a couple of, um, again, diverse uh, readings here, uh, local and international. And again, here, um, my interest in art and politics and religion. Again, so there's a range of readings that uh, may appeal to you that you may like to follow up. Also, I come across a number of YouTube clips. This here, Steve Ogden is um, a man who puts out a theologian, puts out a weekly reflection that I find really stimulating and interesting. The, um, this one here, Dress Up Gang, go and have a look at their YouTube clip, amazing, but this particular clip, Cute House, uh, is about masculinity and relationships. It's a wonderful clip. Absolutely love this clip. Uh, I encourage you to come and have a look at it. Bob Maguire, if you don't know Bob Maguire and haven't heard of him, this is a great clip to have a look at. Bob's um, the archetypal uh, Catholic priest that you don't meet very often, uh, but is uh, laconic, Aussie, and certainly uh, well grounded. And these clips here are a few, a couple of clips that I made myself, one for Independence Day from my one talks from PNG and the Father's Day greeting, which I made as part of an activity. I was involved with a Father's Day breakfast with St. Joseph's College, Geelong, my old high school. This year marks the 50th anniversary of my year 12 group. So I've been involved in a few online activities for the old school and have also made a couple of video clips to commemorate that 50th anniversary. And here, the top one, is where I appeared, I made a cameo appearance in a great little clip about the AAA kiosk in West End, which is now I have been reclaimed by Murray Radio and they are back promoting Indigenous music, culture and media. Facebook throws up a few memories, which is always fascinating. I've been on Facebook since about 2007, 13, 14 years. This is a photo of me with a woman called Ida who insisted on having her selfie taken with me to promote her work in media. I hear she's not doing too badly if you come across her. It's thanks to this photo that she's so successful today. And these are part of my photography over the years. Uh, Michael Carton 
and Michelle Turnbull, again, featured in my um, photography albums and come up in Facebook memories. Again, part of the delight of social media is coming across memes that are either humorous, adventurous, or just plain wonderful. If you're into polydromes, you will love this one here. And I just thought that was a great little um, meme there, a bit of humor there to share with people. Okay, where to find me on social media and what do I do across social media? So I have um, quite a number of platforms. Here's the four main platforms I use. Just livingoz.blogspot.com is my main blog, and that's where you'll find this video. And if you click on uh, the PowerPoint on this page, you will be able to access all those resources that I promote in the PowerPoint. There's a live link to all that material. So just click on the PowerPoint and you'll be able to find all those resources there. If you're on Twitter, I use Twitter as a news source. I have quite a number of journalist friends that I keep in touch with through Twitter. I find it a useful resource for news and commentary. My Facebook profile includes a photography page, Tony Robertson's Photography. This is where I publish albums of um, work that I've done with First Nations peoples, refugee communities, as well as a little social commentary uh, through some of the images I've captured around the place. And down here, I have an Instagram page as well. So if you're in on Instagram, I invite you to follow me and um, join the conversations through Instagram. So that just about rounds up the um, Overview for September. I hope you find some of these resources useful in your own reading, entertainment, and politics. Uh, I look forward to sharing more with you at the end of this month when we look at October, which has certainly been uh, an amazing month even to date. Thank you for watching. I welcome your comments and response. After all, social media is about the social engagement that we have and our ability to participate as activists in media today. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you again. Goodbye for now.